want to show you something. So I spray some of my native grasses. I do some of them with a Mazepic, which is plateau or panoramic. Um, a Mazepic's the generic ingredient. And I purposely left a strip out of here where I did not spray it. Um, I sprayed it with Glide, didn't do a Mazepic, and I just want to see what the difference was. So this right here is a Mazepic, or not a Mazepic, this is just Glide, this is Roundup. Right here is where I sprayed a Mazepic. And these natives right here, it stayed very dry, but they're just starting to come out here. Um, but that's the value of herbicides and matching it up with certain native grasses. So a Mazepic or Plateau, you can burn down with that um, plateau and you can use Big Blue, Indian, um, several forbs like Illinois Bundle Flower, Partridge Pea, the list goes on. Uh, and if you stick with a few, you can actually go high rates of plateau. I want a lower rate of plateau, that's why there is some grasses breaking through here. So this is a lower rate of plateau, but um, uh, had I gone the high rate and just done, you know, a, a lot less things seeded, it would be really, really clean. But there is no Mazepic or Plateau, and there is Plateau. That stuff is amazing for establishing native grasses in certain settings. Uh, if you want switchgrass, it's a little hard on it. And there's certain, only certain things you can plant, but it's a pretty wide list and a very good mix for rougher soils. So from the tractor, and I inspected this, this stand is exactly what we want. There's very, very little weeds in here. And I, don't, I do not mind some weeds. Diversity is key. The, not the wrong weeds, but there's exactly what I wanted in here. So this is second year. A lot of people will sit there and mow second year. So I've even seen them mow into the third year. There's absolutely no reason for that if you do the right, um, the right herbicide program or even time your mowings correctly and just get a little bit um, fussy on how you mow and when. But this is second year, I will not mow this. It needs nothing. It really needs nothing. It's, it's a stand of solid native grasses and forbs that we want. And look at that, we got some rain coming hopefully. So no reason to mow the second year stuff if it's if it's weed free and it's what you have um, what you planted is coming up nice and thick and full uh, this looks awesome so I'm not gonna touch it check out Iowa while we're at it we're mowing actually and now we're just spot checking this over here so this is some stuff we seeded last year and right now it's just into July and you can see that's a sea, a sea of native grasses. I'd say right now, so if you look at these tractor tires, it's maybe just about three quarters of the way up on the tractor tire. So it's probably four foot tall right now. This is the second growing season, and I actually see some seed heads right there. So this is doing really, really good. And there is just birds and quail and pheasants and deer and just crazy amount of stuff in here. So this is my little CRP update. And I did knock back a few weeds in there, but man, I mean, it's just, there's no cool season grasses in here. There's no cool season, there's forks, and native grasses and what we wanted so um, I would say by season on the second by September on the second year here this should be maybe head high a little a little taller than that maybe six or seven feet tall on this soil so pretty stoked with this and this was, uh, we got we got a lot more information at Iowa Tail, but and I've done some videos in this stand before, but a little update, very cool. Check out iowaytail.com and you can ask questions and we can get into a lot more detail.